everybody, it's Michael Pad, so I'm drawing in Furball. Last time, we did the Arctic storyline for the dinosaur section. Then we're going to be starting Bacon Origins. So, Valencia Shelter has a heroic quest for you. She would like you to learn more about the mysterious element. Bacon, you head east out of Falkyrie to meet with her to discuss this strange plan. Okay, so we're at Valencia. She be fired as a guest. Might as well. She's technically a quest line. So, Bacon Origins. I'm glad that you're here, Minnert. I have a little favour to ask you of you. It has to do with the very rare element I've only heard about. I've recently heard about. Well, you've heard of elements like ice, wind, and earth and all. This element is strange, though. It appears to be Bacon. Exactly. Bacon. Now, in all my wonderings, I've never come across such an element. Which is why I'm very interested in learning all about it. Bacon is pretty interesting. I would want to know more about the element Bacon. Please see what you can find out. But yeah, it's a very big quest sign. The, the search begins. You might want to start hunting in uh, for information in the Falkyrie's Guardian Tower. I know his library has many terms full of obscure information. Hello, Minert. How can I help you? I'm looking for any information you have on the Elm Bacon, and it looks like I have a ton of searching to do in all those books. Unless you know something that might help me instead. I know each of these volumes by heart, nerd. And there is not a thing in them about Elm Bacon. I'm sorry. But what I can tell, the Bacon element is relatively new to this area. I haven't seen any mention of it in other older writings we have. I see. Do you know anything else, possibly? Well, I don't. But I might be able to help you find someone who does. I've heard of someone up on a mountain to the east. Might know more. Some hermit, maybe. The traveller I spoke to was a bit dazed. And didn't say much more than, So bright. So wise. <laughs> oh, at that point he started blowing bubbles in his oatmeal. Are you sure that he was sane? Because it sounds like he was more crazy than dazed. Do you have any better places to look for information? Now that you mention it, no. But unless you said to start him, I said cheer. And it looks like uh, you've been sending me in the wild goose chase. After some hem, it may or may not actually exist. Exactly. Good luck. Thank you. I will need it. Oh, these guys are really weak. 65 health. I like to see it. But I'm nice seeing real weak enemies. Means I get to fuck them up. Oh, look, here's a healing pad. Just in case all those weak enemies fucked you up instead. Oh my god, it's Zeus Star. Well, this is what you expected. Greetings, mortal. <coughs> Pardon me. Frog in my throat. Gadzooks. N no, God. Zooster. Which to say, me. You're a chicken cow. Close. I'm the chicken cow god. What did you expect? I don't know. A hermit or something. Maybe a wise old retired martial artist looking to dispense some wisdom with a big stick in the guise of training. He's too mad than top server, sorry. If you make your way down, you might reach him before sunset. Be prepared for a lot of wood chopping and water carrying there. What? No, you know, never mind. I just wanted to know more about bacon. Bacon is tasty. If it's a bit greasy, does that help? <sighs> Everyone's a comedian. I prefer to think of it as dispensing wisdom with humour. Why do you ask about bacon? Do you know anything about the element bacon? Why yes, yes I do. But well, who are you to be asking about that? I'm uh, just curious. I do not ask why you were asking about the elemental bacon. I ask who you were asking. That knowledge is not just for anyone. Oh, uh, well, I'm pretty deserving to be honest. I can um, fight things and win and tell people. 
Do you need help with anything? Maybe? Hmm. I suppose you've got proof of your worthiness. Oh yes. I'm good at proving things. Why just the other day? Fine, fine. You can start by doing a little chore for me. And see if you can prove successful at that. We'll see what else you can do. I'll leave the details with your nosy friend by the Ostertanian statue in the woods. How do you know about Valencia? Omniscience is handier for more than impressing chicks at parties. Girls don't usually like big golden statues though. Yes we do. But this one isn't of me. Now is it? I see a point. He's a lion. Sir, a chinko god? You do come across the strangest people. And animals. Anyways, his messenger left the letter for you. Reads. If you truly believe yourself worthy to know more about our secrets, then I'll need to start approving yourself. You can start by taking care of a rather annoying individual I find myself too busy to deal with. The vileness of his slander is making my attendants weep, and I advise you to not believe a word of what he says. Zooster. Sounds are good, and these enemies are also really weak. I don't get why they're really- well this guy's a little bit stronger. I guess. As I said, it's quite nice seeing weak enemies. It's very nice to just like nuking things. But I'm just surprised. And we are now level 41. Awesome. I need to remember to put the start point in. I might do it at the end of this video if you remember. If not, yeah, it wouldn't be be a surprise. How many times do I forget to do things? Quite a lot, I would say. Ooh, mushrooms. Here he is. Excuse me, but I'm looking for a troublemaker who's been mangling. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Maybe it's a real word. Maybe it's bullshit. But it seems to say malignant. A chin cow named Zeuster. Have you heard any rumors or malicious gossip being spread about chin cow's deities lately? Paladin. You have lived too long alone if you would run errands for creatures such as Zooster. Oh, uh, I guess I'm looking for you, aren't I? He and his flock of fowl, bed brained attendants, lounge around accepting tribute, while his lackeys scurried like rodents, trying vainly to hide the evidence of misdeeds and mistakes. Be you a mouse or a man? I'm a man. Last time I checked, I was a human, so I guess I'll take option B. And show that you have some sense, as I can see you are forthright and honest. He is apparently I should never believe a word he says, so that would mean he's lying, which would also suggest that I do not have sense, and I am not forthright and honest. Kind of mean, but surely the sense is muddled and confused. If you are playing the part of Zeus's foul minion. Well, I really want to know more about the element bacon. And Zeus has promised to tell me what he done to you for you to be so rude to him. He seems like a good enough sort. Though I keep his pet and a coast to trumpets to play when he appears. Ah, Zeus there. Verily, he is a poxed, plume plucked malcontent. His face is false. That's weird. And I must say what a false heart and mind plot. I'm afraid I do not quite follow you. You should be wary of what slips past his lips. His lips. Perhaps my assessment for your processing sense was overly hasty. Hey, I am full of sense. Sensitive, even. Has anyone ever told you that you have nothing but a big blind bully? I see why Zeuster is so irritated. My intelligence is not so lacking that I cannot see through his lies. He's in, in a puffed up game coxcombs, honey tongued prattle. Be gone. You infect my eyes with your presence, that's mean. I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, I pledge to prove myself and prove myself and will. Then your shell is beef witted. A hedge pig as your poisonous patron. A poor mindless paladin seeking home, sneaking home, to 
to display the fruits of puny efforts in the hope of a crumb of praise. That's it. When I'm done with you, there won't be enough scraps left to make a cape. He's really annoying. I'm kind of glad I'm killing him. Rest in peace, Sommy and Lion. He survived. God damn it, I misunderstood. Rest in peace, Sommy and Lion. Yay. Hmm. You know, I think there is enough to make a cape after all. Yay. That didn't seem so mean. But perhaps Zeus's attendants are really, really sensitive. I saw purebred protests. Your Chinko God, friend, has sent down another request from on high. He's quite a character, isn't he? It seems his sense of m musicality is being offended by the interruption of anthems sung to praise him by his reverential supplicants. He says I hate to have their choral efforts ruined, and he is requesting that you please deal with the noise by any means necessary before he loses his temper and turns him into soup for his attendance. You know what I can't find a weird about this whole thing? Is the fellow Zeus who sent me letters and Valentia is reading them. She is reading my mail. Nosy bugger. I want to say as well, another like really cool cheese. I learnt when I was a paladin before. So you have this skill which is called Solemn Vow. It gives you strength and dex and int 15 turns. Removed when under 25% health. When Solemn Vow is removed or expires, heal 10% max HP plus 5% hit max HP per radiant stack, which is like this. So if you have all three of these active, I mean to get 10% plus 15%. When since it's like when the effect ends or expires, you heal 10%. If you use it on an enemy, actually kill the enemy. It doesn't have to kill it on the turn. It just has to kill it within those 15 turns. Look, 104 HP. You literally just recover the health. It's kind of like ridiculous because obviously when the battle ends, you just it like, um, you know, when the battle ends, obviously the effect expires. So it's a really good way to just to farm heals. And the even better thing about it, it's also like a pretty powerful attack. I mean, 200% isn't really powerful, but if you think about this, is 120. It gives you the 60% on top of it, so it's kind of like a 180. But this is 200, so it does more damage than that. And it's just, it's just gonna, like, one shot most of these enemies, nearly, and heal like over 100 health. Can't really beat it. Bird Hater, the filer of fouls. Why are you driving us away from the mount? The better question is, why are you here and so loud? We would never try to time our interflock vocalizing to interfere with the regularly scheduled performances by the Zeus's Boosters Club and Choir. Admitted that would be like saying that we're trying to drive Zeus to mad with frustration. We would never intentionally annoy God. It would be, it would rather resemble an experiment from a deranged necromancer's workshop. That's true. Ahem. I am unable to detect sarcasm. Honest. <laughs> so I will just take your protest in his face value. He just won't stand for it. So you're here to take care of the problem. You got it. But we don't want to stop. And there are whole flocks of us. And only one of you. True. I take quite a while to silence all of you. But my instructions were to take care of the problem. By any means necessary. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, you're all birds, yes? Yes? And you sing right? Right? And you have a problem with Zeus's ego and his uh, rejection of his birdness? So you just object to sing if inflated that ego more? Pretty much yes. Driving him crazy with frustration was just going to be a bonus. Yes. Well, have you considered starting a choir of your own? You could start our own choir. Why, that is an excellent idea. I'm sure such musical beds such as you or Love Sia uh, would make for quite a rival. No. 
to surpass the fame of Zeus's songsters. Of course we would. Pure blooded birds are far better equipped to make music than a group of over ambitious barnyard mutants. And what better way to put him up his place than by showing him just what he's missing by rejecting his bad ancestry. Your logic is flawless. Um, you need time to practice before you start performing. Organize your appearances. Determine your preferred forms of flattery. It'll be hard to concentrate on all that with all those odds and anthems floating down from up on the mount. Good point. A proper concert has had much better acoustics for practicing in these woods. Oh definitely. Soon Zeus will be granting us the respect we're due. Rejecting his twisted appearance and use our majestic bed selves as inspiration. Better than a soup. Wait what? Zeus is gonna kill you. Appealing to their audience's ego wakes for Zeus's supplicants. And now they wait for you. It seems our full fledged beds are so susceptible to flattery too. Alright, so five more points in strength. Alright then, well I'm gonna leave this on here, so yeah. We're gonna continue on with the bacon origins next time. So either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you on this one. Goodbye.